This is Dr. Ralph Opasic, founder and executive director of the Orange County School of the Arts, starting as just an after-school program at Los Alamitos High School. Hi, I'm Ralph Opasic, and I teach choral music here at Los Alamitos High School. I would just like to congratulate the class of 1985 and thank those seniors who are in my choral groups for making it an exciting and successful year for me. OSHA has grown to more than 2,200 students and a new campus in San Gabriel Valley, CSRX SGV. Most people know who Dr. Opasic is, but not many know very much about him. Let's watch what happens. Basic. Can we ask you a few questions? Of course. When did you start playing piano? I actually started playing piano when I was five years old. I had injured my hand and I actually took up piano playing as therapy for my hand. What is your favorite vacation spot? Oh man, when I have two weeks in a row, I like to do two things. The first week I like to go to New York, see all the Broadway shows, enjoy the nightlife. And then the next week I like to go somewhere tropical and uh, enjoy the surf and sand. What is your go-to outfit for work? <laughs> That's an easy one. Monday morning, I don't like to think, so I put on a blue suit and find a shirt to match it. Would you consider dancing a sport? Well, I don't really think dance is a sport. I think dance is an art form, but it takes a lot of athleticism to be a good dancer. Um, but I see dance as art, not a sport. What inspired you to create OSHA? Um, I tell people that the idea for OSHA came from my own experience. I grew up in Virginia. I came to California uh, to study music. I wanted to be a singer-songwriter. And when I graduated from college with a degree in music, I knew no more uh, about how to pursue a career in the arts. And I thought, wouldn't it be great if there's a place where somebody that was passionate about the arts could um, be inspired by those that have been successful in, in, in pursuing a career in the arts? a mentor, and so it was from that experience that the idea of OSHA came about. What do you see OSHA becoming in the next 10 years? You know, that's so hard to predict. I'm, when OSHA started 32 years ago as an after-school program, I would have never thought it would have developed into what it is today. Um, you know, OSHA has grown and developed because of the creativity and the passion of all the directors and the teachers. I, I just think it's going to continue to grow. I think it's going to continue to flourish. And I think it's going to continue to develop as we figure out how to best meet the needs of the young artists in Southern California. How do you feel about your statue in the DMS? <laughs> well, I was very honored to be uh, recognized and, and have that presented to me. Um, at the same time, it's, it's a little humbling, uh, a little embarrassing to, to have that statue. Um, I'm not retired and I'm, I'm, I'm not dead yet, but it, it, it's, it's fun to have that. It's a real honor. What about when it's decorated? I think I like that best. I think I love to see how the students like to decorate it during the holidays. I love to see their creativity and originality. So uh, we take pictures of it and we're making a scrapbook so we can see how the students decorate it during all the seasons. Love it. Do you plan to have more school branches of OSHA? Well, you know, we launched our first sister school uh, a year ago in the San Gabriel Valley because we have so many students applying here. We have over 3,000 students applying each year. And yes, I think we're looking at other sites because we want more students to have this amazing OSHA experience. What is your favorite building at OSHA? Oh, that's a tough one. I think each building has its own, uh, own personality. Um, but I think probably Symphony Hall. I love that we've taken an old church and we've repurposed it and turned it into a performance venue, a theater. And I would probably say that because I think the way in which uh, we've repurposed it is really unique. What is your favorite OSHA 10th Street event? Oh, that one's simple. I love looking, I love Halloween. I love coming every Halloween to see how the students are going to dress up. I love uh, waiting to see their creativity, their originality. Um, I just love, it. there's no question about it, Halloween. What is your favorite food? Uh, I, I love all kinds of food, but I'd probably say, if I can just pick up an area, I would probably say Italian food, pizza, spaghetti, lasagna, anything in the Italian food family works for me. If you have a favorite sport, what is it? Well, when I was a kid, I used to play tennis hours and hours at a time, so I would have to say tennis. What's your favorite song to sing in the car? Uh, 
that's a tough one. Well, right now with it being the holidays, just about any holiday song, I have the Christmas holiday channel on 24 seven and I probably know every word to every Christmas song. So name the Christmas song, you'll hear me singing it in the car. What is your favorite childhood memory? Um, you know, I remember, you're talking about Christmas, I remember when I was three years old, um, the, uh, the first gift I got that morning was a little, little white piano and it was the first gift I opened and it was the only gift I opened and I sat at that little piano all day and just played it and that's probably my first childhood memory and probably my favorite. How long does it take to do your hair? <laughs> it's pretty thin so it probably takes me to blow dry my hair oh about a good 30 seconds. What is your favorite genre of music? Oh, I love everything, and if you were to see my playlist, you would think I'm um, uh, crazy. I love classical music, I love jazz, I love rock, I love country, and so it just depends on what's playing at the time. Um, I go to all sorts of different concerts. Um, I've been to Black Sabbath, I've been to Brad Paisley, so it's, it, it, it's just so hard for me to choose, just too difficult. What's your favorite holiday? Uh, my favorite holiday? is probably one that most people don't choose, but my favorite holiday is the 4th of July. I love getting together and celebrating without the drama of wrapping presents and, and, and having to cook and all of that. It's just a fun, relaxing, shorts and t-shirts type of event. So definitely the 4th of July. Looking at OSHA today, do you think you've achieved your goal? Well, I, I gotta be honest, OSHA has grown into something so amazing and so unique. It's, it's by far surpassed anything I ever thought of, and that's because of the passion and the dedication and the creativity of our amazing faculty and staff. What inspired you to create CS Arts SGV? Well, you know, I mentioned earlier, we have over 3,000 applicants here at OSHA every year, and it's just sad to me that we turn away thousands of kids. And so the idea for creating CS Arts was to provide this OSHA experience for more students. And it just does my heart, you know, it makes my heart happy to know that there's more passionate Students that are passionate about the arts, they're getting this OSHA experience up in the San Gabriel Valley. If you had one million dollars in your hand right now, what would you spend it on? Well, you know, that's easy right now when you see of all the suffering and all the hardship that's going on right now with all the fires and the floodings here in California. I think I would direct that money to help those families that are hurting due to the fires and the floods. If you could build an art school anywhere in the world, where would you build it? You know, I would look at inner city areas where they don't have the arts. I really love the fact that we were able to put the Orange County School of the Arts here in Santa Ana, um, and, the, and the, the kids in the Santa Ana community have access to this experience. So I would look for inner city areas like downtown Chicago, Detroit, areas like that where students that may not have, have access to the arts can have access to the arts. Uh, I am up at CS Arts at least once a week. Um, Wednesdays mornings I go up and I'm there at least once a week, sometimes more. How would you feel about a professional OSHA dodgeball team? <laughs> well, you know, I love that we do dodgeball as our, our school-wide sport. I think a professional dodgeball team or sport might be a little bit of a stretch for us. Would you ever play in the OSHA annual dodgeball tournament? Well, I don't think anybody would want me, um, but I'd, I'd, I'd give it a thought if I was invited. If you were a student at OSHA, what conservatory would you be in? Oh, that's a tough one too. You know, I, I mentioned earlier, uh, I wanted to be a singer-songwriter when I was young, so I would have to say commercial, commercial music, um, but... You know, I played piano, so I love the piano program. Uh, my, my degree is in voice, so classical voice. Um, but I'd have to say probably my heart's with commercial music. I hate to pick favorites, but that's probably the one. How many Diet Cokes do you have each day? <laughs> that's a great question. Um, I'm going to be a, a bad influence here. I probably drink 10 to 12 Diet Cokes a day. If you could add another conservatory to OSHA, what would it be? Well, you know, we've been talking about that. I think that the next conservatory would be a design conservatory. Think fashion design, automotive design, product design, something like that. Would you consider constructing or buying a new building for OSHA? Well, you know what? We're working on that too. And if we do get the building we're working on getting, we will be launching that design conservatory. If you were to be in one musical, what would it be? <laughs> 
Well, you know, when I grew when, when I grew up, I was Curly in Oklahoma. I was Sky Masterson in, uh, in Guys and Dolls. Uh, I'm too old now, but I really like the, the role of Link in Hairspray. I think that would be a fun role. If you didn't found OSHA, what do you think you would be doing today instead? I would probably be a lawyer or a minister. How about, how about that for a stretch? What's your favorite part about coming to work each day? You know what? I love coming to work and seeing the passion and the dedication and the creativity and the innovation of our faculty, our staff, and of course our students. Is what OSHA is today what you expected it to be 32 years ago? You know, OSHA has surpassed everything I ever thought it, it would be or could be. And again, it comes back to just the creativity and the dedication of this amazing faculty and this amazing OSHA family. I just get up every morning, I never feel like I'm going to work, and it's just a privilege to be part of this OSHA family. We did it in one take. I told you. I told you.